Hello and welcome back to Dark Deity. This is Chapter 8, Into the Fire. Chapter 7 was called Out of the Pan, so... <laughs> the party arrives to Red Hill only, only to find it already under attack. They repel an air more in four, striking at the aqueducts. A victory that seems too easy. A young man, Caius, runs after them as they're preparing to leave. He tells them the Aramorans are attacking the township. Now they head for Red Hill proper to attempt to fend off the Aramoran attack. And here we are at the base. So, let's see. We do have quite a few units now. I don't know how much I'll be using Benji. Uh, he has a leg of mutton. Uh, I feel like that will be a reference to something at some point. No, don't want to use this. I don't know why you can use healing items in the uh, base. But that's a thing that can ha happen, apparently. I feel like Mega Mutton uh, best consumed in a single bite. Okay, but it restores 60 HP, so... There we go. Now we have... Uh, well, we should probably take a look at upgrades. I decided to upgrade Bianca's uh, flail into a chain mace. Upgraded Elias's uh, power weapon into thunderstorm. I upgraded Sloane's firewall into hearthfall. And I bought another tier 1 token so I could upgrade uh, Garrick's Warbow plus 1 into an Armor Piercer plus 1 with my tier 2 token. And I think now we're all set on upgrades. Let's take a look at some bonds. It seems we unlocked one between Benji and Sophia. I guess we can take a look at that. Hey, Benji. I just wanted to tell you what you did back there at the aqueduct, charging in like that all by yourself. I thought that was super brave. Hey, thanks! Ah, thanks, Sophia. Honestly, I didn't even think about it, if you can believe that. Wish I could do that! Wow, so it's just like a natural instinct for you? Exactly. No better way to describe it. Hmm. Sounds like you always had a warrior spirit in you. <laughs> Come on! Who's Ab surprised? Absolutely. In fact, I already just happened to be wearing my dad's old armor. <gasps> that was really good thinking. Was he a warrior too? Oh yeah, I've got a big legacy to live up to with him being a war hero and everything. So when enemies started attacking the aqueducts, I knew I had to defend my home. Who else would have, you know? Hmm. Doesn't Red Hill have a militia? I mean, aren't there people who are supposed to defend it if it comes under attack, like a garrison? Hmm. Uh, yeah, we might have had one of those, but I knew they wouldn't stand a chance without me. Besides, they were probably too busy to defend the aqueducts. Uh-huh. That makes sense. You definitely made a big difference in that battle. I should hope so. After all that training, I'm glad to have something to show for it. Nothing less than the best. I think that proved to everyone I'm ready to make a profession out of my skills. It's time to show the world what Benji's got. Yep. Yeah, wahoo! Okay, well, that's concerning. I'll take a look at the rest of the bonds myself. I don't think I actually unlocked any more. A lot of these exclamation marks are here because... I think I unlocked bonds with characters that are not in my party right now. But I'll get them back later, hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, with the game save, let's advance. Gods below. It's already worse than I imagined. <laughs> this could be a massacre. It will be. <sighs> Not if we can help it. Garrick, what do you see? Looks like the civilians are barricading themselves inside those buildings. Rally to me. We have to protect them at all costs. Prepare for a fight. Well, we see that there's a house on fire. I don't really see the rest of the town yet, but we'll, I guess we'll take a look around later. Traitor. What is he talking about, Caius? Well... I was once a part of this force. <sighs> Astounding. I seem to have better luck recruiting Aramorans and Delians. What caused you to change your allegiance? When we got the order about Red Hill, I couldn't stand by and watch them slaughter innocents. <sighs> if that makes me a traitor, so be it. I'd rather die a traitor than live a murderer. Well, don't plan on dying today. What role suits you best? Oh, we get to pick a promotion for this guy right away. Alright, so what's your uh, skill, Caius? Pull up. Accuracy plus 20% after moving. Huh. Okay, so we want him to be mobile then, for sure. I don't know if there's anything that synergizes well with that specifically. I don't think Archer does because Specialist requires adjacent allies, and there might be a situation where we don't want to move in order to keep that bonus. 
Relentless, the second attack, and I double deals plus 25% damage. Weightless has the effect of weapon weight. Witch Hunter seems like a quote-unquote obvious choice, but maybe not necessarily. Uh, crit increase by 25% if only one adjacent unit. That seems more doable, even with moving around. Hmm. His aptitudes are pretty high in the strength department. Maybe we should utilize that somehow. Although, I don't really see an easy way to do that. Maybe we can make him a Strider. Relentless and Weightless. Keep him mobile. Keep him attacking things. Yeah, let's do it. I can always respect a man who stands by his sword. Okay, people, let's do this. The force like the act. Oh, this music is intense. I was going to read over it, but maybe not. <laughs> I was going to just read the uh, description at the top left. The force of the aqueducts turned out to be merely a diversion for the main assault on Renhill proper. Caius, who deserted from the Aramoran army upon learning their intent to harm civilians, has warned the group, though it already may be too late. And we get to deploy 12 people, though that's our entire party, so there's no need to uh, undeploy people unless we wanted to do a low man of this, but I don't see a need to do that. So let's have a look at the map. Uh, the objective is to route 30 enemies. That's very uh, Radiant Dawn-esque, and there are a lot of um, enemies around, that's for sure. I guess we can pick any 30 of them. <laughs> Although, ideally, we'd like to go for drops, I just don't immediately see any. Oh, well, there's one here. A Tier 1 token. This guy drops a Tier 1 token. Alright, well, there's enough to go around, I guess. Let's, uh where people go, and then I'll get started. All right, I made my preps, and I'm ready to get started. So, I uh, position people in a way that we can target the first few enemies with an advantage against them, ideally. So, let's put in that into action. I'm gonna move our units in the back first, so we can kind of push out over time. I'm gonna hit this guy with the armor piercer plus one right away. And that will do plenty of damage for someone else to step in and finish them off. I just need to find the person that will, um... I'm on it. Yeah. Elias will do it. Uh, probably. There's... Yeah, Thunderstorm is good, but... Yeah, he just needs that skill that guarantees a hit to kind of help him out there, but it's chance-based, so... It's not exactly reliable. Well, let's put our new character, Caius, to good use here. Or try to, anyway. Um, the thing, the thing with this game, I'll talk a bit about it probably during enemy phase, but I'm kind of concerned that new recruits will kind of fall behind, and maybe you can guess why I'm mentioning it now that I'm using the new units. But... My, my fear is that since new units don't seem to come with upgraded weapons, that they'll just kind of fall behind since you've already spent so much on other um, characters. Like other, you spent so many tokens on other characters at this point. At the point that you get them, that there's like nothing that you can really do. You dropped something. To like awaiting orders. To make them always ready. To make them useful. In a way. Uh, I think we're just going to fight against <laughs> weapon advantage here, or, yeah, I don't know what to call it, mastery advantage, something like that. Anyway, I'm just going to throw a hatchet at him. Oh, then she got to level up. Please clap. <laughs> okay, that's uh, an interesting reference orders. to, to uh, Jeb Bush for some reason. <laughs> well... Go ahead and promise this guy, I guess. And just kind of whittle him down with units that are not very suited to targeting heavy, heavily armored people right now. That's kind of a problem. But we'll make the best of it. With uh, Sloan's Flame Snap to help out. Knock you down at 2 HP. Or 12 
I guess that's fine too. I um, highly doubt that Marion can kill here. Actually, I'm wrong to doubt her, but it's very, very unlikely. If we chip a little bit, maybe, but I don't think Brook. Yeah, we'll just kill with Brook. Might get a staff booster out of it. Probably not, but. Okay, well. We got air more oysters out of it, at least. That's something. Now, there's an enemy lurking here, which we can't easily take out. I guess, I guess Irving might be able to. Hang on. Ah, uh, the dang pause gonna have to do. Bonk. Ride back. Get blasted with a magic thing and dodge. Wonderful. And now... How can I help? We'll just pull up Marin and heal up. Stay with me! NG. And, uh... Maybe we can attract this guy with... Our, uh... Alden guy here. Hmm. Yeah, we can do that. Are you we'll, sure? In fact, we're gonna phase Have fun. me over there can do. and also do some of this. Hmm. I kind of wonder if we should do that or phase this or chain this guy. Then we'll take attacks. Potentially, if this guy moves over here, then this guy will get in. Surrounds Bianca. It's kind of dangerous, but. We'll just attack from here, it's fine. With the hammer. And just get attacked back. But, you know, at least Bianca has the ability to get her health back with attacks. Some of it, anyway. 33%. I don't know if that skill gets better with tier 3 promotions, but we'll see, I guess. It seems like a good skill to have overall, though. Oof, Elias just took a massive hit. That's <laughs> so this is my fate. That's concerning. He keeps dying. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gonna be hitting the bench pretty soon. As soon as we fill up on units. I'm gonna start deciding who's actually good at fighting and who isn't. And just uh sort the party out. I like Bianca a lot. Elias is just falling behind so much. Bianca, she's doing so good. No, oh, Sophia got to level up after getting attacked. And I feel stronger. Do I look stronger? Hopefully, be helpful. We'll see. It's hard to know the full value of stats in this game. So it does kind of seem like HP is very uh, inflated. So that would kind of mean strength and magic are important. I just want to deal damage to enemies faster. Not bad, not bad. But accuracy is important because you need to hit your attacks too. You can't just attack. Well, we'll see, Let's I do guess. It. You know, if we, we can definitely kill Are that guy. Sure? Or heavily injure this guy, I guess. Mm, I think I want to go for. I'd love to go for a kill, but let's see. Let's try this. And just kill. Alright, so well, we lost. Elias twice, so... Uh, yeah, too bad for him, I guess. We're going to kill this guy. Killing is the name of the game, so... There's no point in injuring somebody and leaving them alive for next enemy face to attack us. You know? That uh, whoops, wrong person. Going. Um... Maybe not that. How about we My turn. pull Sophia back a bit? Mm, can't quite hit with the war bow, so maybe not. Uh, Sia might be able to kill with a shiv if she crits, but she might not. That's kind of a problem. Uh, Benji, Sloane, Marin. I feel like we have so many underwhelming units this besides be like fun. Eric Irving and a few other people, but. Yeah, I mean, Lincoln's one of the good ones, too. Awaiting um, let's have you... Well, we don't need to have Marin. We can heal somebody else with Marin, and then she'll heal herself. And then, uh... Let's just try Sia attacking this guy. 
Okay. Oh, that's gonna have to do. We'll step back with Sophia and shoot. Great. Now... Let's form a line here with Brooke and some others. Okay, that should do. Let's see what happens here. Alden getting attacked immediately. And Irving getting hit. But... I think they'll be safe for this turn. Just a matter of... Well... Dodging stuff. But Irving has a high chance to dodge. It's Alden that I'm worried about most. My sword grows lighter with every swing. Alright. Next up is Garrick, and he just dodges. That's fine. Alden not looking too hot. Hmm. Guess oh. I wasn't ready. Lost a finger. Yikes. Okay then. Alright, so it's our turn again. And well, Elias and Benji are, are, are Elias and Alden are off the field right now because they did not have enough HP to survive. We defeated nine enemies out of thirty. So let's have Bianca pull back here and attack this guy. We'll I'll take point. Let Irving attack it from here. And then we can have Lincoln heal up Irving. Rally to me. And Sophia's getting kind of beaten up, My so turn. pull her back a little bit and have her shoot somebody. I guess with the uh, the short bow, or maybe the war bow is actually better. Okay. Uh, next. Thought you'd never ask. Have Garrick finish you off. Good to have around. Proudly meeting expectations. 19 strength. What will it be? Um, what will it be? Let's see. Yeah, I'll just go for this. Maybe we'll get a crit. Nope. Okay. It's a good thing I built Sia around getting crits and she just never gets them. Uh. Well, that's okay. We'll just hit you with Hearthfall. Try to get rid of this guy. No wonder people like me. All right, that will have to do. Now, Benji's always ready. That's great, Benji. How about you go all the way over here and just swing out your double axe around? Maybe you'll uh, get hit a couple times, but if you die, you die. And how about we? And the amount of uh, enemies we can actually hit here reliably is kind of bad. I guess we'll just go for this. It's easier if you hold still. All right. <laughs> yep, that guy's oh, gone. Hero. And that enables us to we'll heal Sophia. Looking good. And Caius might be able to take this guy out. Yeah. On that one. Okay. Let's see what happens here. All right, Garrick. So far, so good. Bianca, unfortunately, missing. Lincoln. At least you'll die on your feet. We'll get his HP back. But lose it again. And she is gonna get smacked around. Bianca's doing okay so far, at least. Caius is gonna kill this guy. And she's dead. Never die. Okay, well he lost a finger too, so. Wonderful. <laughs> I I know what I'm doing at this game, I swear. It's just. Um a bit overwhelming. And a lot of my together units don't have very good upgrades, I guess. Maybe I should have upgraded my going. units better. 
We'll just kill this guy. Nice, gets a level up. That's a lot of experience. With every shot, progress. I'm starting to like my high strength units a lot more than uh or our high magic units a lot more than This should be fun. Everyone else. Because they can actually do damage through these guys with 43 HP. Or more. So, uh... Yeah, don't be surprised if I start favoring certain units over others. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna go for, uh, this kill. Maybe Brooke will get one of those... Nope. Should probably get one like the last boss. My luck. And that's it. The last boss of the game. Okay, Marin. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking. Now uh, we heal you. Heal someone with you. I don't know who yet. Let's just hit this guy with a dang buff. And then Lincoln can probably finish this guy off. Yep. Be I healed Sloan, and I'm gonna move her over here and have Sia uh, hang out in this area. Try to pull those two knights over, or one of them at least. I don't. Uh, they probably both move together, but you know, it's okay if she gets hit a bit. And that's kind of an ouchie, but nothing to be done about it really. Couldn't have done it without you, butter. Yeah, I doubt that, but okay. And... alright. I don't know what happens if Irving dies. I assume he just falls off the battlefield like everyone else, but... Anyway, Garrick needs to deal with this guy sooner rather than later, and attacking with the armor pierce was a bad idea. Alright, uh... Maybe Sophia... Can just longbow him. Ah, oh, Ferret's Fury chipped in a little bit. And... well... I guess! Sia, maybe? Can do something? Alright. Today is not their day. Now it's these Armor Knights that we have to deal with. Or what are they actually called? Defenders, okay. Uh... Right oh. away. Lincoln can handle one of them, at least. All right. <sighs> oh, all mm. right. Maybe we have Bianca kill this guy now. Let's use the chain mace so that when she gets attacked on any phase, she can double. Can't, like, trade up weapons in this game, obviously, so... Push the advantage. There we go. I'll take point. Now can we get rid of this guy easily? Not really. Uh, well, maybe with Sloane's help we can. That says 20, that has 18, she leaves him 21, and that has 21. Okay, how about we do this first? That way, when Irving strikes, he'll give some extra experience to Sloane. Right now, Sloane has uh, 19 experience. Together. And with his kill, Sloan has 24 experience, so that's working as intended, at least. Well, I hope it is, at least. Now, Marin and uh, the other person whose name I keep forgetting can attack this this guy. Brooke. Brooke is her name, that's right. Okay, Marin, there you go. So far, so good. Quickly and quietly. And Brooke can just... Well, not necessarily kill unless she gets a crit here, but who knows? Maybe she'll get lucky. Nope. Okay. That's fine, because Kaias can just finish you off. There you go. Alright. Good ol' healing on attack helping out there. I feel like if I were to uh, pick my classes again, I would probably go for more people that heal on attack more often, and more people that um, have high strength, more classes that have high strength growth, 
or magic, high magic growth is fine too. But you know, you live and let you learn. Stay back, creep. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my hero. Tear one token. Now we have to deal with uh, this fella. Since he's kind of behind us, lurking in a weird sense. Uh, how about we start with Bianca and we can finish with Brooke, maybe? Or anyone, really, as long as they can hit, hit for enough damage. These guys are pretty uh, thick, after all. There we go. Start moving up. Um, yeah, we can move up to here easily. Awaiting orders. Heal. Rally to me. By your grace. All right, twenty magic. Wonderful. Now, um, yeah, How we can, can have Marin pull this guy. I guess. Kind of a weird choice, but you know, it'll work. I'll take point. And you can go there, you can go there. Let's get going. I guess we'll just wait here, and we'll just take our next push to the north slowly. -ish. Not too slow, though. Alright. And this guy. Oh. Come then, test your resolve! Here we go. Wonderful. Oh, that's the, that's the, okay, we got 30 people. What do you know? I gave it to them straight. Nice, six turns. Not, not too bad, but uh, this is bad. <laughs> What's going on here? More of them? When does it end? I will not yield! We've come this far, we can't give up now. Uh, ah, there's just too many of them. Blast. We may have to make a run for it if we get the chance. Keep an eye out for a break in their lines. With honor. Too late for that, we're completely surrounded. Hold firm, and, we, and we, we may yet preserve our honor, if not our lives. Halt. The royal sisters. They've come to finish the Delians themselves. King Darius has commanded these prisoners be brought to him immediately, unharmed. I command you to release them to us at once. Well, it seems that these two are special. <laughs> Who would have thought? I, I honestly am kind of surprised by this, but, you know, to each their own. We need to leave now. You won't get another chance. I, I guess it makes sense that they were looking for a an artifact that would be kind of important, but uh, that's chapter eight done. It went pretty well. Elias uh, died. Well, he didn't die. He uh, lost a finger, and so did Alden. So, wait, he did? No. Uh, Benji and Alden lost a finger, and Elias broke his arm, if I remember correctly. So... Yeah, this game can get pretty, uh, pretty wacky. I, I wonder what would happen if I lose a character 11 times and they lose dexterity each time. Do they just lose a finger 11 times? Has this been tested? Uh, or do they just not expect someone to be so bad at this game? More mysteries to find out in Chapter 9, but that'll be in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.